Okay. Now, let's go to, we're going to exercise two. For exercise one, which exercise one is just part of how to assign the IP address statically to the client on the server system. So that is fine. So what we'll do now is to, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to create a host record in DNS. The first task is to create a client to use, uh, is to create a client to use server one as a DNS. That is sorted already. Uh, if you go to the train, if if you go to my computer now, trainer PC, you'll notice that on the PC it has the 192.168.1.1 as the DNS. Are we together? Now, if you notice here, we have dot four, dot one, and dot five. Now, what I want us to do? Can we go back to the DHCP server? Go to your DHCP server. Let's go to the server options. I want to show you something. Because we have, on here, we have dot one, dot four, and dot five as static configuration. So let's see. Now, if we go to the scope, let's go to scope A. So that's the pool, that's the address list. So this is our address list, server one, server one, server one. So if we go to scope option, we can configure scope. Let's select DNS, DNS. Let's see if we can add other IP addresses like 192.168.1.4. Let's see if it's gonna add it. Wow, it's worked. So 192.168.1.5. Now this is where you are using multiple. Now in a, in a, in a real world, this IP address should belong to servers. Do you understand me? If you come in here, I'm going to click a plan. Okay, now this lease duration should not be on server one. This, for example, should be probably server two, server one, uh, server three, server four. Are we together? Then I can, now these servers will be running DNS, but then they will be acting as multiple DNS server within my domain. So all my users will be able to receive IP address with those configurations. So this is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna refresh the DNS, I'm gonna refresh the server now, sorry. I'm gonna refresh the server now. So it's gonna refresh it. So let me go back to my network adapters. Right click, network and sharing center, uh, change network adapters. We'll come to Ethernet 2. If you go to details here, Ethernet 2 is only showing one IP address. Is that not correct? So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna disable it. Then I'm gonna enable it again. Let's see if it's gonna update. Let's see if it's gonna update the information. Let's see if the informations are going to be updated. Okay. Let's open it again. Do we have all the servers here? Has he added all the, all the IP address? So take note of that. If you're asked to assign them dynamically, that is how to assign them dynamically. So we have dot one, dot four, dot five. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you go in here, you also need to disable the adapter just to refresh or if you refresh the computer system on the network system, it will be updated. Okay, so I'll stop here today. Um, but before I stop, let's do, let's do touch two. Let's create an A record. Let's create an A record. Can we go to the DNS server? Right click on the on the, remember, I'm on PCE.local. That's where I'm creating the record. So I'm going to right click now. I'll go to create new A or quad A. Then I'm going to give it a name. Um, on the name, it says uh, creates a new record name www. Okay, so my IP address will be 192.168. Dot one dot nine. 
Now, do you guys remember the uh, pointer record? Do you guys remember pointer record? Which is, of course, your reverse, right? This is where you check it. Now, did you see here where it says, allow any authenticated users to update the DNS record with the same owner's name? Did you see the second option? So click add. Click add now, guys. Click add. And that record has been added automatically. So if you double click on that record now, it will show you that that is the name www.pce.what? Dot what? Dot local. So that is the record name. Now let's add another record for FTP. So we're going to right click. We're going to add an O record. And the record name is FTP. So you see the fully qualified domain name becomes ftp.pce.what? Local. So if we have a domain name or a server called FTP, then we put in the IP address here. So let's put 192.168.1.10. Then we click Add Host. Guys, that is how to create and add records on the server system. So let's ping it. Let me go to the com let's ping let's ping uh, local. Of course, it's not going to reply that the computer exists, but it's going to give us an IP address. Is that not correct? Yeah, because the computer does not exist. That's why it says unreachable. Are we together? But it gave us an IP address. Is that not correct? Let's do FTP. Let's do FTP. Pink FTP dot PCE dot local. It gave us dot ten. Did you see that? But it's telling us destination host unreachable, meaning the computer is not present. If I wanted to make this unreachable, I need to set up a computer that has this actual name. Are you getting me? With the same IP address, then it will reply. Are we together? That is the task we've just done. Touch two and touch three and ta yeah, touch two, three and four. That's what we just done. So that's the whole of the DNS I wanted to talk about. So I'm going to stop here.